Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm here to guide you through the Paganini theme and variations for intermediate cello. Now before we start, let's make sure we're warmed up, seated comfortably with our feet flat on the floor, ready to go. Now let's start with the theme. The function of the theme is to really support the violins who have the melody and you've got this dotted rhythm. So you've got the broken slurs. <laughs> Variation one, we have forte and con fuoco written in the music, so the sound's got to be really strong. And we've got something written like this. So we really need to get a fast bow in the right point of contact to get that really crunchy sound. And if you feel more comfortable going up the C string, really correct it's a good thing to try and practice these phrases really slowly to get that right sound and then when you feel confident speed it up a little now we come to variation number three number three is all about contrast, dynamics, and going from pizzicato to arco. And we've got the hairpin, so you really want to exaggerate that. Look at someone creeping in. in with the orchestra. Variation four, this is all about experimenting, finding a really creepy sound. So we've written in here sandals and harmonics. So we need to try and find these harmonics. We've got them here. And you're going to be going here. fun at home trying to find these harmonics and then after that we've got tremolando <laughs> Variation number five. This is where the cello finally has the melody. Now, this is all about bow distribution and legato playing. Let's try that again. It's espresso, so really beautiful, and see if you can make it as smooth as possible. So really beautiful, really smooth playing. And now the next bit is a bit jazzy, pizzicato with this kind of rhythm. So think maybe nice. something that says bow on lap. Now I think for cellists it's 
easier to actually swap the ball to your left hand and prepare for those finger snaps. So I would practice it like this. so on. You see if you can practice those snaps to get them sounding really crisp and don't worry if you're struggling to get a big sound there'll be lots of you playing this line so it will sound really strong. One, two, three, four. And then we've got some more pizzicato and you'll be playing this with the double basses. with this and at the very end you're going to shout hey and that leads us to the grand finale with the whole orchestra which is a recap of the theme that we played right at the beginning of the piece so again your role is to really support the strings with lots of big strong bows like so and then we've got Motif at the very end, which is slightly awkward, but it's marked 40. See if you can get a really strong sound. And then you finish the piece. Now, if you have any questions or any things you're not sure about, make sure you can always consult your cello teacher, your instrumental teacher, they're always here to help. And if you're going to post a video of your practice session, make sure you use the hashtag Benedetti sessions hashtag. All the best and good luck.